I'm just gonna do a Austin review um, preview video, and I'll say my predictions for the race as well. So Rosberg qualified on pole with an absolutely amazing lap, like 136.0. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Um, my predictions of the race that Hamilton will come first. Rosberg second and Valtteri Bottas third. Okay, that may sound weird because Rosberg is on pole and he's top. Um, he's absolutely dominated qualifying. And Hamilton, I must be honest, even though I'm a fan of him, hasn't has ha hasn't been too great in qualifying. But then his brakes have been by um, something's gone. Something's okay. Something's just been going on with his brakes, so that's probably what ah, that's probably what caused him during qualifying. So, 56 laps, soft and medium tyres. Uh, reckon about two stops. And if Hamilton does win, it'd extend the championship lead out to 24 points over Rosberg. But in theory, um, mathematically, Ricardo still can catch um, the, um, the Mercedes duo. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen because he's going to have to finish like second this weekend and then first for the rest of the races if he's going to do that. He probably had to finish first and double points Abu Dhabi as well, which is going to be quite hard when Hamilton is normally extremely good around Abu Dhabi. If, if I'm honest, Hamilton probably gets some kind of re reli reliability issue in Abu Dhabi because you know what his luck's like, don't you? So. Yeah, I reckon Hamilton's going to win because he's normally quite good in Austin. It's like nearly one of his best tracks. Because in, in 2012, he was cap. In 2012, um, Narain Carthur KM was um, holding up Vettel through the S's. So I think Vettel might have won in 2012, but. If Kafkaen hadn't have held him up through the S's section bit. Um, Hamilton's probably going to get quite a lot of vibrations during the start of the race, just like um, Nico Rosberg did in Sochi, because because um, he locked up like hell in qualifying, especially in Q2. He was just. He, he even complained on the radio because he said it was getting this is getting ridiculous now because he kept locking up because of, due to vibrations. So yeah, my predictions are Rosberg for uh, no Hamilton first, just Hamilton first, Rosberg second, and Valtteri Bottas third. And I don't think Ricardo um, will finish in the top five. I'm gonna say. I think he finished like sixth, but hey ho, who knows? Please like this video and subscribe if um, subscribe if you haven't already. I will be releasing a review video tomorrow tomorrow um, to show like the results and if my predictions were right, if they were wrong. And yeah, bye for now. I'll I'll just continue the record recording up until. Nice fastest lap, by the way. That's one of the crappiest laps I've ever done. Because my camera's in right in the way of my face. That's why I can't see anything. Okay, so let's see if we can actually overtake Alonso through these S's. Oh, yep. Yeah, purple by four tenths. Nico Rosberg style. See if we can make a dive... As you can see in the gameplay, um, oh, what is the name? Codemasters haven't updated the game yet for the option tyres to be the softs, but instead the mediums and the hards, or, or, aka last year's compound. 
But that if they were last year's compounds, the race would be really boring because everyone would make one stop, like last year and the year before. Well, that was a good overtake. Six tenths purple. If you're wondering, I'll be releasing a, s I'll be starting a scenario mode series um, today or tomorrow. I don't know. But if you can hit 1,000 likes and all on the first scenario mode, I'll release three scenario modes the next day. No, no, the next part. No, yeah, the second part. The next two parts of of the scenario mode. Okay, so bye for now. See you later. All later.